Hello and welcome to my presentation today. My name is Alex Hampshire and I'm a final year BA product designer. So I'd like to present to you the new essential home accessory, which I designed called the, the hybrid sterilizer. I identified a glaring issue of accessibility to, um, to effective and portable sterilization in the domestic market. I, I identified it as, as lagging behind. While the awareness of viruses, i.e. COVID-19 and, and, and bacteria and other pathogens is, um, is skyrocketing. So I developed this product to return users confidence in, in cleaning and sterilization during a, a worldwide pandemic. So by combining a portable handheld sterilizer with a container filled with um, UVC lights, users can keep their day-to-day -day lives free from the dangers of viruses and bacteria while saving on cleaning supplies such as disinfectant wipes, which also helps um, to protect the planet through less consumption. So to give you a bit of context, you may ask, like, what is UVC? Well, UVC refers to ultraviolet light with wavelengths between 200 and 280 newton meters. So, when exposing a virus or bacteria to UVC, the light penetrates the cell wall and disrupts the DNA inside, which inactivates the virus by stopping its reproduction abilities. And of course, this is all chemical free. So back to the product. The container has three different time cycles that depend on what is being sterilized. So toys with, will typically need 30 seconds, bare, bare objects, whereas items such as like masks, phones, and pacifiers and baby bottles um, all should be sterilized for a longer time to ensure complete sterilization. So for my target market, um, I, I looked at families with, with children, um, but also with the elderly, but primarily focusing um, on families with children as due to the nature of the product, um, it would of course be well suited to a broad range of people um, worried about bacteria and viruses, especially those at higher risk from infections, um, i.e. autoimmune disorders and the elderly. So the primary, that there are two key functions of this product and the container and wand, which is used at home, and the wand by itself, which is used on the go. So the user opens the lid of the container using the finger tab and places anything they need cleaning inside. Then they can turn the container on using the button located on the front of the container on the right hand side. And then the wand is put back into place. Um, it will recognize when it is docked via the magnetic charging port which also helps to keep the wand secure and the user can then select the time cycle by clicking the button on the wand. And the second function is, is on the go. So an issue I discovered through interviews is some parents are worried after COVID that public spaces and especially nappy changing stations are unclean and unsafe. This is where the wand comes in. So parents can sterilize any unclean surface at three different time cycles depending on the user's choice. And once you're done with it, at the end of the day, you can put it back on the container to allow for the wand to recharge. Also, as there is a USB type C port on the wand, um, users have the option to charge the wand separately from the container if they are out and about, for example. Um, it, can be hooked up, it can be hooked up to a battery pack. So the example I've given is, is, is the issue with, uh, with, with children and, and, um, and they love to put things in their mouth, for example. So when parents take them on play dates, um, they can be uh, comforted in the fact that they can um, sterilize any toys or anything um, after use. So for the research, um, I carried out interviews uh, throughout the project and did observations. Um, and uh, these interviews um, really helped inform my design process. Uh, through understanding the technology, UVC, um, and par particularly understanding the market I was trying to design this product for, the domestic market. So I realized through my interviews, the domestic market was in greater need of a surface sterilizing product. I also observed existing products on the market, which helped me understand at a deeper level how products in the domestic market looked and functioned, which informed the development process and finally the hybrid design innovation of the wand and container. 
So some of the interviews, um, here are some of the companies I spoke to, um, most of which are market leaders in UVC technology. Um, they were all key in guiding me through this project and my decision making. So some of the early ideation um, was, was looking at a lot of different containers and hand st handheld sterilizers, um, which helped me progress onto a hybrid design. Safety was a, an important consideration throughout the ideation stage given the target market. UVC is of course dangerous to humans. Um, if exposed to bare skin for prolonged times, um, it can cause burns, which is why I added a safety feature, a child lock, um, as, as children would of course be at most risk of accidental harm. So the, the physical modeling um, of the product started early on. I found chemical wood, uh, chemi wood, to be the ideal material for modeling the wand. I was able to, to adjust handle ergonomics when needed with a bit of sandpapering and receive feedback from users on how this felt. I made several prototypes of the ones before I decided on the design and dimensions. Um, from there, I moved on to the digital modeling process. Um, uh, this also began fairly early as I used it as a means of progressing and improving my design as I personally benefited from the improved visualization it provided me. So some of the manufacturing considerations, um, I originally set out to 3D model the wand and container without showing these uh, design modifications for, um, for manufacturing, um, such as injection molding. But after observing more existing products on the market, I realized um, the benefit of showing this would also help improve the visuals of the inner components and electronics um, that also had to be designed whilst also giving me a more rounded um, final design. So by adding a lip, for example, uh, between the two halves of the wand, um, you can see it can snap together once the molding process is complete. And the same design choice was applied to the lid, which was split into two halves that not only allowed it to be molded, but also gave space for the component and the wiring to fit inside. So moving on to the wand interior, um, here is a, uh, a sawn through view. So. Um, Please refer to your animations um, after the pres presentation to, to see the interior of the, um, the wand. Uh, but the photo here shows a wiring um, inside the wand going from the LEDs to the component board. The magnetic charger is an important part of the design. Um, as explained, it helps, docking, it helps the docking process of the wand um, whilst also informing the wand when it has been docked. So the LCD display uh, is controlled via Arduino and was chosen due to its low cost, which for this product made sense as only basic functions were needed to be displayed, such as the timer and the battery percentage. And uh, the lithium ion battery um, is, is rechargeable uh, and will allow for at least a, a full day's use, if not more, depending on usage. Um, and the, the material choices, um, polycarbonate was chosen due to its high UV resistance. Uh, it's ideal for injection molding and it has high impact resistance, which is ideal for a product that will be taken out and about constantly. So the interior of the container, uh, he, here you can see the exploded view of it. Um, the UVC panel is set up similarly um, to the wand interior. The LED lights snap into the panel uh, for easy uh, for easy use. The, the body of the container is made of polycarbonate, the same as the wand, primarily due to its high UV resistance. The panel is polished aluminium, which is essential as the reflectivity of the surface helps improve the item exposures uh, to UVC inside. So the power button, the hinges, the magnetic charger and cable are all standard components. So some examples of use, um, here are some examples of, uh, of the products uh, which would be used uh, in the kitchen, uh, which, is a, which, which would be a typical environment where the product would thrive. Surfaces can be sterilized using just the wand, ensuring complete decontamination. No possibilities of bacteria like salmonella and other horrible things. Um, then the, wind, uh, the wand can be docked back in the container, ready to sterilize food and cooking utensils and whatever else. Another example is, of course, on, on the go, uh, which is another, um, it, it, it's a very portable and, and, and versatile product. So 
on the go, it's it's perfect. Uh, I, I compared the one dimensions with with bag sizes, um, mainly women's handbags, as uh, as men typically carry bags of similar sizes, like backpacks, whereas women and mothers uh, can carry handbags ranging from many different sizes. So it was important to design it with this in mind. Another example of use is uh, keeping it in near your entrance. Um, this encourages uh, users to get into the routine of um, entering the home from a day out and putting things like their wallet and keys, their mask, all of that into the container to be safely decontaminated, which would help keep your, yourself and your family safe by routinely sterilizing your items upon entering or exiting the house. And the final example of use um, is the diaper station. So. From carrying out some interviews, I, I, I found users were afraid of changing their children's diapers in, in, in public toilets. As the, the pandemic only worsened these fears, um, well, with a few waves of the wand, these surfaces can be sterilized um, and rid of anything damaging. So finally, the further design developments um, that I considered is far UVC, which is a recent technology that's still in its infant stages, but its potential is huge. By using a narrow range of UV wavelengths, unlike UVC, it doesn't cause harm to humans um, while still remaining lethal to viruses. Um, with far UVC, sterilization could become a safe and routine process that could operate in the background of every public space, like train stations and airports, for example. For my product, it would mean no safety measures would be necessary. No child lock would be needed. Um, and then secondly, uh, the incorporating air sterilization into the product. So I did a lot of preliminary research on air sterilization, as I initially believed I was going to redesign an air sterilizer uh, unit for the home. My interviews also revolved around air sterilization, as a majority of companies that specialized in lighting or sterilization typically focused on air sterilization on an industrial scale. But after seeing the lack of um, surface sterilizers on the market, I changed my direction. Nevertheless, I would still like to, in the future, incorporate this air sterilization into my product or other surface sterilizing products. And by having a three-in-one machine, this would be incredibly useful um, for the average user. So that concludes my conversation, my, uh, my presentation as well. Thank you for listening.